What's my home drawing space like? Today I'm going to show you around my office. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now and I'm here to inspire you. So I've asked my patrons to uh, ask me questions so that I could have some video ideas because I've kind of run out of them. And so they have. And one of the questions is, I'm curious to see how your home studio is set up and why. All right. <laughs> this is going to be one of those things where I'm going to be a little bit... It's, it's a little bit showing you behind the curtain. It's a little bit of... Uh, it's a little, it's going to be embarrassing for me because um, my home studio, such as it is, is now a small corner in my bedroom. It used to be that I had an office. I had a whole room to myself. It was all set up. I had all kinds of tables and it was just, it, it, I, I was very comfortable in there. I could shut the door and just be all cool. And then my daughter was born. And my, my, my wife also told me that my first daughter... Okay, so here's the thing. I have six kids. And my youngest is my daughter. And my oldest is my daughter. And so I've got two daughters. And my oldest daughter, she used to sleep in the same room with all the boys. All four of them. But she started getting too old to be in there. And when my youngest daughter was born, it was basically time to give my oldest and my youngest their own rooms so that we could separate my daughters from my sons. And that meant my office would no longer be my office. It would be their bedroom. So I had to take everything out of my office and cram it into our bedroom. Not that that was too difficult because we happen to have a relatively big bedroom my wife and I so but it was a significant less significantly less space less amount of space so I'm going to show you the left hand corner of my bedroom and the way it's set up for me to draw and I will show you where with a, with a, another camera. So I'm not 100% sure how well the audio is going to come out. But if it's the, the audio is going to have it's going to be different because uh, I have no portable mic. I'm not ready or set up for any kind of portable recording studio setup. So the camera that I'm going to use is going to record the audio. And I'm going I, I, I think it's a pretty it's pretty good audio. But if it isn't, then please forgive the, the, the change in audio. But otherwise, it, it ought to be about, it should be clear. And I will show you around. And I'm going to show you around in the state that it's in. Which means that I am not going to make this clean and nice and pretty. I'm looking around going, this is a huge mess. And, but this is where I work and this is how I work. And I will explain to you what I what what goes on and, uh, and why everything is the way it is, and then uh, okay, so let's get to it. All right, so here I am in uh, holding this uh, camera here, and uh, I just wanted to show you around. So the, the thing about this bedroom is that it's extremely extremely dark. So I've had this light over here. It's kind of huge spotlight, uh, kind of. Uh, b kind of burning a hole in my face right now, uh, but uh, as you can, as you can kind of see, this is this is kind of the best. So I'm only going to show you this part of the bedroom because it's well, it's my bedroom. So uh, and my my wife's and I bedroom, but you can see. Oh my gosh, look at this huge shadow of this from this from this light. So I'm going to see if I can't move out. Okay, here we go. So up here, I've got my uh, some some figures I used to have in my apartment I used to have these figures all over I've got some over here I've got some up here got some toys up here I've got a 
I've got a little Superman over here and a bunch of books and this here is one of my many shelves of art books so I've got a ton of art books here and I've got and, and shoved in these art books are our hero clicks figures these are my extras of hero clicks got my Dragon Ball Z over here I've got all this is all uh, Miyazaki storyboards over here uh, and I've got a ton of uh, more uh, art books here I got a ton of them and here's the here's the problem with uh, having the bedroom be uh, the office um, I can't access uh, some of my books over here because there's a pile of uh, clean clothes that haven't been put away and my wife needs to put all kinds of other she's got like all these drawers and things that are, uh, and I can't access the books on the bottom of my shelf Gah! and then I've got oh and then here's another book shelf full of books um, I've got uh, my little Zaku over here or Char's, Char's uh, uh, mobile suit over here and then I got my little Gundam and um, so here's more art books and even more art books and I've got more art books and there's some there's actually some comics on this shelf there's these are um, European comics and at the bottom and then again this box here there's a box here full of my wife's novels see there's like her the novels that she's written see it says the discovery of fairies Alicia Escobar and HM Jones she co-wrote this one with a friend and here's the the thing about this book is that it's just recently been produced and I think that is the proof and then there's more comics down here I got some Popeyes Okay, so, and then I've got boxes of toys that I don't know what to do with it yet. I haven't, I haven't got, I used to have all the space in the world with these, but I no longer do. I got my internet here, and then here's the beginning of my art shelves. Oh, and by the way, if you want to know, there's more books, art books over here. Oh, actually, these are uh, role-playing game books, and, and role-playing game books are fantastic for storytelling. So I got my D&Ds here, and then I've got my my GURPS books here. And then I got more art books down here. All right. So here I've got uh, my sketchbook, which I've only done a little bit of artwork in. I think I've only done this one. This is. I think this is it. This is the only drawing in here. Yeah. I've got uh, another sketchbook here. Um, so here are the drawers with my with stuff. So like for example here's sharpener. In here is uh, blades and and scissors and a carving knife uh, here's Sculpey and sculpt, sculpt, sculpting stuff uh, post-its and this is an old spelling uh, device that used to this is what I used to use before there was uh, uh, phones that helped you spell and th these are just pads and post-its and things like that got a rosary over here I've got um, what's this called um, epoxy over here um, I got my skull over here and I've got props like guns so when I want to draw guns I've got gun props here um, in here I've got my colored pencils in here I've got uh, oil I believe these are oil or acrylic paints. I don't even remember. I have it. 
use these in so long. What's it say? Acrylic. So these are acrylic paints. I haven't ever I haven't used. I hope they haven't gone bad. Wow. Um, this syringe is not sharp at the at the tip. Uh, oops. This syringe is not sharp at the tip, but this is what I use to put ink in cartridges. In, in ink cartridges like Pentel uh, brush pens, when they run out of ink, I I, I take. I take the uh, I take an ink cartridge uh, like um, I've got my ink cartridges down here somewhere here so I take a, a repeatograph ink pen uh, ink like this and then I I use this to take it out and then and refill my 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 Pentel cartridges with them and then down below here, right here, let's see, these are oils, these are oil paints down here. So I've got the acrylics up here, I've got the oil paints down here. I've got the art tape that uh, you guys saw me buy a couple of videos ago. I've got leads in here. I got staples and stamps. Oh no, uh, clips and uh, staple uh, and yeah, stamps and clips. And here I've got uh, some watercolor uh, trays. And here I have some completely and totally dried up watercolors and just junk inspiration here. And in here I've got glue and a few of few other things I don't even know what oh yeah more syringes for ink and big binders and some glue and and down in this I've got my markers down here and all my pencils all my pens my dip pens pencils I've got ballpoint pens and this is a bit of a mess. I had it all cleaned up a little bit before, but I've got uh, printer cartridges here for my printer. And mostly jars, empty jars. Oh, uh, this used to be a stamp. I really should, I'll just gonna have to toss this. Here I've got um, refills for my brushes. And I've got my inks right here. Uh, these are dry I think this is this is actually a kind of mess this is kind of messed up this white ink doesn't isn't very good I rarely ever use it I think there's some really tarry ink in here uh, I've got this is blue ink I've actually drawn with it one time out of desperation I didn't have any ink and this is empty I don't even oh well it seems like there's some m nasty ink in there um, but this is the ink I use. This this is the the official ink I use. The the Pelican ink. I really like the Pelican ink. Uh, I've got this. I have yet to use it, but I have it. It's um, watercolor ground where I could basically put anything this on any surface, and it makes it so that I could paint watercolor on it. Uh, I got my masking tape here for painting. Uh, my uh, my model my my anatomy head it's very good for reference and head drawing and like I said the more and, and refills for my markers uh, down below right here I got my phone charging let me move this out of the way I got a Kindle here I got Prismacolor pencils and it's get it's uh, my the shadows getting in the way let me move so this is this is a box full of markers uh, this is a new uh, uh, 
sketchbook that I bought, but I bought it. It's, it's a gray tone paper, and uh, it's specifically so that I could draw uh, gray uh, on top of gray toned paper on uh, for Patreon uh, rewards. Uh, that's it, it's it's got like this this you know you could tear the the paper off. And this is what I'm going to be using it for. It's for for patrons, for artwork for patrons. And here I've got I've got some uh, Gundams that I'm going to be building. And I have another sketchbook in here. And this one's got this artwork in it. And that's it. And uh, a few comics in the bottom and some notes. Uh, this green thing here that you see where this mouse is sitting, this is a cutting board. So if I need to do any cutting, I do it on here. It's very, very handy. Got some comics in here. Uh, this is the keyboard that I use when I'm using my portable my portable Cintiq. I've got it right here on top of this sketchbook here. Um, there's my trash can. I've got a Garfield bulletin board that I've had for years and years and years and some Simpsons posters here. Um, what else? I've got a art of Spider-Man down here and then here I've got a bunch of uh, under my table I've got this uh, board it's really handy especially for uh, drawing on my desk I'll show you in a second here I've got this for my light box I'll show you that in a second then I've got this where it's really handy to to paint on top of I've got another board here that I tend to use sometimes to draw where you could see that's got a bunch of marker uh, stains and a bunch of cuts because I've actually cut on it accidentally a few times. And I've got a folder in here and I'm sure it's, yeah, um, Famous Artist Course, I printed it out, great stuff. I kind of have it over here in the corner. It's a bit of a mess in here. Okay, so this is where the action happens. This is the computer. This is the 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 camera that I always tend to talk into when I'm doing my videos right next to this battery. Uh, here's my stylus. Uh, here I've got a hard drive where I keep backups of a lot of my artwork. Here, so let me show you the full setup here. So this is where I draw. This is, and this is my computer, and this is what it looks like. It's not glamorous in any way, shape, or form. Like it's just, right here, this, this is permanent tape, and this is removable tape. Here's my mouse. It's, this is a, it's a bit of a mess in here, but I've got some pens in here. I got tissue over here. I've got um, a card that my son made me for Father's Day, which is hilarious and makes me laugh. Uh, I, here I've got some drawings that my kids have done for me. And here's my friend John's. Uh, he drew a two-faced for me and I love it I think it's just so cool so I, I have it here by my desk and here's the 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 mic that you hear me talking into and this board here I have so that when I had when I get Uh, sketchbooks like this with paper uh, paper covers uh, I could replace 
the paper covers with this board. I cut it down to size, I make holes in it, it's chipboard, and I just give it a better a better cover. And you can see that I cut it. You can see the cut already there. And down here is a big mess, mess of stuff. And that's it. This is actually it. This is where, uh, oh, oh, uh, but let me explain. Let me explain what this gigantic hole is where my uh, light, where, where my uh, Cintiq is at. So this Cintiq, so sometimes, uh, remember this thing? Sometimes when I want to draw something and I make a, want to make a video, Sometimes I put this right on top like that because it's got a cushion in the back. So it doesn't, it won't mess up my screen or anything. And then I make a video. So I've done it a few times. Oh, by the way, um, oh, there's a big poster of Chun Li over here. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, so I have this huge poster of Chun Li because I love Chun Li. I think she's awesome. And this is the window. Um, you often see uh, light coming from this window when I'm making videos, and this is the view from the window. It's a really nice window. It's just not necessarily the best thing ever for um, doing videos. And then here we have this. So this is, um, this giant thing here is actually a light box. So when I want to do things with my light box, I remove the Cintiq, I move it out of the way, I put it, I pick it up and I put it over here on, uh, on this side over here. And then I put this plastic on top. And this is my light box. You can see that there's a light right here and it turns on and um, I have aluminum foil in the bottom so I have to take this the the Cintiq is actually there's a there's a there's another thing here keeping it up so that it comes up to the surface. So I take the Cintiq out I take this other thing out and that's where you see the aluminum foil. And so the aluminum foil, what it does is it reflects the light from here to the bottom. And so I get light throughout. And I made this uh, Cintiq, I mean, this um, light box myself uh, in high school, in wood shop. I took it, I took the blueprint that I found in a animation book. Uh, and I gave it, and I showed it to my teacher and asked him if he could help me make it. And so we made it. And so here, this is the light box, and this is where it is. And this is an 11 by 17 uh, hole. So, and this is plastic, although I could use glass. So what is this thing here on the, uh, this, this is a peg. This is an animation peg. So as you see the, these weird shapes here on these, these pegs, this is what paper, animation paper holes used to look like. So instead of like having three round holes, there was one round hole and two uh, kind of a boxy holes. Re rectang uh, um, yeah, rectangular holes. And you just, we used to have stacks and stacks of them, and they would fit right in there, and that's how you kept the, the, the drawings registered, to register to each other. But when I use my light box, I tend to flip it over to this side, because I no longer, and I probably should just take, take the tape off and take the peg bar off, because I'll probably never ever use it to animate ever again. But um, that's, that's it. That's what that is. So I don't use the light box too often because I'm usually drawing digital. But I I do use it 
when I'm doing traditional work. And here's the keyboard that I have on my lap most of the time when I'm doing recordings. And that's it. Oh, I forgot. Um, you may have seen this in this in a in a few of the videos, but and so this is an actual cell from a t one of the episodes where the Simpson became uh, vampires. I didn't work on it. Uh, it was the year that I started. This was being produced, so I bought a cell for it. And uh, that's uh, that's it. That's uh, my uh, setup here at, at home. Um, it's not very glamorous. Um, if anything, it shows you that you don't need anything fancy to do what you need to do. You just need to do it. Um, then you work with whatever space you've got. And this is the space I got. So this is what I got to work with and this is what I'm going to work in. All right. So... Um, I hope this has been helpful. I hope this answers your question. I may, in, in, in it, uh, it makes you less curious about uh, the behind the scenes. And I will talk to you next time. All right, bye.